this is well over 100 bucks um that's a problem that's insane but it is <laughs> come out virginia what you waiting for what you waiting for what you waiting for got your ball gown on and you lock the door and you lock the door Hello everyone, my name is Andrew. If you don't know me, you should subscribe, stick around for a while, like, comment, and all that. But today, I'm going to be showing you guys every book I own that I have not yet read. Basically, this is my full TBR that I physically own, um, everything I want to read at some point. I saw a couple of people do this video. The most recent one, I think, was Books with Brittany. I'll link her down below if you want to check her video out. I really do like her channel. But I thought this would be fun because I love to watch these videos. I like to see what people have that they haven't read. I just like to see people's books in general and bookshelves so I thought this would be enjoyable for you guys too to see all the books that I want to read um I'll show you guys my shelves real quick all right so this is what my shelves <laughs> look like well these are my main three shelves if you've seen any of my bookshelf tours you know what my shelves look like I've rearranged a little bit but um this is not a bookshelf tour so I'm not gonna go in depth but this cart right here that I have um, is pretty much all TBR and then I have my main three shelves like I said of all the books that I have already read these are just like all my favorite books um, and then over here I have this little square shelf that has books that I have not read either so that's another TBR shelf that I did like rainbow kind of you can't see that much so let's just get into all these books um, I'll go through each one that I haven't read and tell you guys a little bit about them maybe not all the synopsis because because that would be a very long video, but I'll show you guys every book I have that I want to read. This is well over 100 books. Um, that's a problem. That's insane, but it is. <laughs> so first, let's start off with this um, random pile. So these are all books I haven't read except this one. Please ignore that. It is a library book I have do but I have Set Fire to the Gods, Crier's War, The City of Brass. All of these are basically YA fantasies that I heard a lot about. They were pretty hyped and I can't wait to read them. I still want to read them. have a lot of interest so that's those. Um, moving on a little bit down here I have some Brandon Sanderson. I did try Mistborn. I got 100 pages in, didn't like it but I wanted to keep these copies in case I ever do try to come back to it. It by Stephen King. Um, I just think I might want this to read this in the future, but I haven't like picked it up anytime soon, or I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up soon, but I do have it in case I want to. Same thing with Dracula. I did start Dracula, but I didn't finish it, but I don't want to get rid of it, so yeah. Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. Um, Judy Bloom. Okay, I have read this. I don't know why it's right here. It, I don't think I have anywhere else to put it, so that one doesn't belong here. Um, this one is a Louisa May, Louisa May Alcott. I can't talk. Uh, Eight Cousins Mythology, Edith Hamilton, Picture of Dorian Gray. These are like classics or older books that I don't know where to put um, because they didn't fit on my rainbow shelf. So that's why all these books are here actually. The Ivory Key and Jade Fire Gold I got recently. Um, they just didn't make it onto my colored shelves. I know I kept Jade Fire Gold out because I want to read it soon. That's kind of why I left it out not on a shelf. The Similars by Rebecca Hanover. Um, Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, Morganville Vampires, Volume 1. I do want to read these kind of like YA books too. Save the Date by Morgan Matson. It's like a romance, I think. Romance, contemporary, whatever. I do sometimes like those. A Marvelous Light and Little Thieves. These are my Illumicrate books that I got um, in like the past couple months boxes. So they also didn't make it out to my rainbow shelf. So they're here. <laughs> Starting at the top, um, I keep these books up here because these are ones that I think I am most likely to reach for soon. And also I got these recently. Like I just bought this one. This is probably the newest book I've got recently. People meet on vacation. So it went up here. But Empire of the Vampire, I'm actually about halfway through reading it. So I just left it there because it's on my currently reading so I need to read it. When We Were Infinite, um, this one I hauled recently too. I can't wait to get this get to this one. It's a contemporary that I think is going to make me cry. Love that. Kingdom of the Cursed, I just read the first book so I know I'm going to pick up the sequel soon. Not Here to Be Liked, another contemporary that I really want to read soon. Um, Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong. I dnf this one, so I have it up here just in case I ever want to try it again because I do want to try to finish it. If We Were Villains, I got this one from Charlotte for Christmas and I want to get to it, so I left it up here. 
Reminders of Him by Colin Hoover. I did get this one recently as well. People we meet on vacations, you already know. The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. I want to read this like this week or next week for sure. I cannot wait. I've been thinking about this one nonstop, so I left it up here because I want to read it super soon. And Verity by Colleen Hoover. This is like the only thriller <laughs> I own. Maybe not the only one, but one of the only ones. So I left it up here because I have been on like a Colleen Hoover kick. So I kind of just left her books up here because I kind of want to read them soon. All right, we'll move down to the rainbow shelves now. We'll start with this red one right here. Um, what I Lost by, I don't know the exact name and I can't pull it out, but this one is What I Lost. It is a contemporary young adult, A Feast for Crows, part of the, um, what is it called? Game of Thrones series by George R.R. R. Martin. It kind of killed me because I had to split up all his books. Um, they're all like on this square shelf, but I had to split them up by color. So yeah, <laughs> that was kind of hard, but I did. Um, I did it, so whatever. Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. This is definitely a book I don't think I'm gonna read anytime soon. Like I'm not planning on it, and it's fine. It can it can sit here. It can wait. That's just fine with me. The Copper Gauntlet by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. This is the Magisterium Book Two, a middle grade series. Eight Will Fall. This is a young adult um, fantasy. Sense and Sensibility, and then I have The Divine Comedy by Dante. I, for some reason, not one day, really wanted to read that. All right, this next one, it's like reds going into orange and yellow. Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. This is an Easton Press. It's one of my most prized possessions. I love it so much. Need to still read it, but um, I love it. With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I do love Elizabeth Acevedo's work, so I need to get to that one. The Amber Spyglass, His Dark Materials Book 3. My friend Sarah is um, holding me at gunpoint to read it, so I'm actually going to read that in April. Um, it's going to come off of here. Finally, <laughs> she's been begging me to finish the series, and I will. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, Take a Hint, Danny Brown. Just read the first book in this series, so I guess that kind of motivated me a little bit to read the next ones, but I'm not in a super rush to read it. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. I've had this book for a while, and I actually don't think I'm going to read it, so I might get rid of it, but mm, it goes with the color, so it can stay for now. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I remember that I saw this cover, and I thought it was so much prettier than the like regular cover, so I don't know. I just think it looks really cool, so I like it. Watership Down by Richard Adams. I bought this because it's mentioned in um, The Darkest Minds. <laughs> That's literally why I bought it. And then um, A Long Fatal Love Chase by Louisa May Alcott. This one is like a wild book. Like if you know about this book, it's kind of wild. So you should look it up and like see what it's about. But it's kind of wild. I mean, I haven't read it, but going on to these golds into blue. Kingdom of Souls by, what is, it's called like Raina Baron. Yeah, Raina Baron. So that one I got because I met her um, when I met Cassie Clare. She was like the moderator, so that's cool. That's when I bought it. Doll Bones by Holly Black, Les Miserables, Victor Hugo. Again, another Game of Thrones book randomly thrown in there because it's gold. Little Men by Lucy May Alcott. If you can't tell, I love Lucy May Alcott, but I've only read Little Women by her do want to read the rest of her books um aristotle and dante discover the un the secrets of the universe i think i'm gonna pick this one up soon my friend connor just read it and he did like it so that kind of motivated me a little bit more to read it but i've been wanting to get to it after by anna todd don't ask why i have it after um and the phantom toll booth which is a middle grade right next to after which is um kind of funny but yeah <laughs> weird choice Okay, we have this blue shelf. Um, this is an arc. I can't even reach. This is an arc that I need to read soon. It's coming out in May. It's called I Guess I Live Here Now by Claire Ann. It seems really cool. It's like a coming of age novel um, that is a young adult book. So I want to read that before May, before it comes out. I have the Bane Chronicles, um, which I actually haven't read. I guess I'm a fake Shadowhunter fan because I haven't read the Bane Chronicles, but oh well. A Game of Thrones, some Lisa Kleypas and Julia Quinn. So these are like um, historical romances. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. I've been seeing this one a lot on TikTok, which I think is funny because it's an older book, but excited to get to it one day. The first book in the Magisterium series that was like the other Cassandra Clare and Holly Black book I mentioned. Um, Aphrodite Made Me Do It by Trista Matier. This, oh, these books are so stuck. I can't even like get them out. That one's a poetry book, which is cool. Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte. If you can't tell also, I can, I collect the Barnes Noble Classics editions. I like those for my classics. 
um, and Truly Devious by something Johnson. I forgot, but that one has been hyped up on booktube for so long, so I might try it one day. I mean, I do want to, but no motivation to get to that one soon. All right, blues into greens. We have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, The Love Song by Minnie Drake, Passenger, Alex Bracken. You know I love Alexandra Bracken so much, so of course I have to have all of her books. Patron Saints of Nothing. This one is such a gorgeous book. I can't wait to get to that one. Before the Devil Fell by Neil Olson. That one's a mystery kind of thriller book, which is surprising, I know. To Kill a Kingdom, The Descent of the Drowned, Joe's Boys, <laughs> another Louisa May Alcott. Oops. Pride and Prejudice. I really want to read this one soon. Like, if I was going to pick up a classic right now, I would pick up this one. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to, but, but I would. And The Magicians by Lev Grossman. All right, some more greens going into a little bit of red <clears throat> or pink. I think it's pink. Um, okay, so I have The Hobbit by Tolkien. I have After We Fell because one day I'm going to read after and I might want to read this one too. Another Game of Thrones book, A Storm of Swords. I have Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy that I haven't read either because I'm a fake Shadowhunter fan. The Kiss of Deception, I'm not going to lie. This one came up on my TikTok and I bought a coffee. Mm, yeah, I've been falling into the TikTok scams. I don't know. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. This one is also an Eastern Press. It's so gorgeous. Y'all want to see it? Okay, I'll show y'all. This is what the cover looks like. It's really heavy duty leather and it looks like this. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's Eastern Press. I don't know. I really love it so much. Graceling by Kristen Cashore. This one became popular recently too, and this one's the old cover, which I kind of like having the OG covers of books, so I'm happy I got it before the new one came out. Um, and then The Prince and the Pauper by Mark Twain. I think I got this one just because it was Mark Twain and a Barnes Noble classic, and it's pink. I don't know. I thought it was pretty. Going down here is going to be kind of hard and weird angles, so I'm going to go through them kind of fast, but Beloved by Toni Morrison. I really can't wait to get to some Toni Morrison. I've been wanting to check out her works for a while, um, so I'm going to do that soon. Vampire Academy, not too interested in reading it soon, but I figured it was a classic that I have to read one day. Red Glove by Holly Black. This is some of her backlisted novels, kind of, so they're really older, like her older works. I did read White Cat. This is in that series, so I can't wait to try that one out one day. Um, I don't know. White Cat wasn't like anything too special, but I do want to keep on with the series, so I kept it. Never Have I Ever by Jocelyn Jackson. This one is, again, a thriller that I'm surprised I have, but I do. Wayfarer by Alex Bracken. This is the sequel to Passenger, so when I get to that series, I will need this one. Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. Um, Y'all know that I accidentally, not accidentally, y'all know that I DNF'd uh, Miss Bourne, so will I get to this one? Who knows? Okay, we're going into some white and gray books. Now we have A Dance with Dragons, another Game of Thrones, just thrown in the mix. The Space Between Worlds by Micah Johnson. This is a book of the month copy, and that really bothers me because, like, none of my other books are book of the month copies, so I just want to hide that fact. Then I have Obsidio. I did read Illuminae, and this is in that series by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I did like it, so I want to finish the series eventually. We have another copy of Wuthering Heights. I think I can get rid of this one. I didn't realize I had two copies of Wuthering Heights. Um, okay. Gemina, I, like I said, this is in the Illuminae files, so I'm going to get to that one. Becoming by Michelle Obama. This is like one of the only couple few, do um, not documentaries, nonfiction that I have. But there's that one. White Rage by Carol Anderson. Another nonfiction that I also want to read because sometimes, not often at all, I read nonfiction. But when I do, I like to have some on hand. So these are ones that I've been interested in lately. Um, the Modern Fairy Tales by Holly Black. It's three novels in one. It's like her um, Tide, Valiant, and something else series. They're all mixed into this one bind up. Internment by Samira Ahmed. The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. I've heard good things about. Um, I don't know what this one is, but it's a Barnes Noble classic. Cyrano de Bergerac. I don't know. Um, by Edmund Roston. I like the color, so I bought it. Another Louise May Alcott that I haven't read. Good Wives. Oops. I'm sorry, Louise May Alcott. I do love you, girl, but I haven't read your works. Okay, and then we have this dark gray and black shelf. So, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, um, obviously, in the Bean and Classics edition. Hush Hush, um, this is an older YA. Milk and Honey, this is a poetry book. I don't read a lot of poetry, but I'd like to have some just in case I ever feel like I want to be a poetry girl. I can. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. Gerald's Game by Stephen King. Grave Mercy, 
I don't know why, but I heard about that one too, and I heard it was good, so I bought it. The Midnight Girls by Alicia Desenska. I want to read this one so soon, honestly. I think I should take it off down here because it's getting forgotten, but I want to read it so bad. And The Beautiful by Renee Adier. Don't mind me putting back my bookmarks that, like, I don't even remember where they weren't. I keep them on my shelves, but, like, now they're just falling everywhere. That's great. There's one more. Um, here it is. Okay, now those are back in order. Okay, so now we can move on to the fun part. I really love my TBR cart, so let's go ahead and we can go into these books as well. Um, excuse me, Aelin, Reese, and Max. Y'all are gonna have to move. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just let them hang out wherever. Okay, so here we go. Oh my god, look how tall that book is. Okay, so here's the top shelf. I have A Dance of Cloaks by David Dowglish. I'm sorry, excuse me. This one is an adult fantasy. Um, I have Iron Widow by Zeran J. Zhao. Like, I mentioned this one in another video recently that I cannot wait to read it. Um, a lot of these on this cart are ones that I am more likely to pick up before the other ones on my shelf. These are ones that I know I'm going to reach for semi-soon, so that's why they're here. Okay, these hollow vowels. This one was hyped for a bit, and I did buy it when I was hyped, but I'm still really intrigued by it, so I can't wait to get to it. Escaping from Houdini and Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. I read the first two, and these are the last two in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series that I haven't read. I honestly want to pick this one up, like, next month, because I want to get back and finish that series, because I love Audrey Rose and Thomas Cresswell so much. Anyway, moving on, we have Ray Bear, which I'm excited to get to as well. The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. There Will Come a Darkness. This one, I feel like, is possibly going to be a super good book that no one talks about. Like a hidden gem almost. So, yeah. I don't know. I just have a feeling I'm going to like it a lot. Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palpretto. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. And this book is by Carlos Risafon. My dude. It's called The Angel's Game. If you haven't read... Okay, this is not going to go back. Wait, hold on. That's that's going to have to do. But I love Carlos Ries Carlos Risafon. If you don't know, he has another book called The Shadow of the Wind that Callahan Skogman, who plays Matthias and Shadow and Bone, he recommended it to me. And I mentioned that any chance I get because it was such a good book. But that's just another one of his works that I want to try because I loved his writing. Okay, this shelf is kind of blocked by my stars, but excuse that. So I have Caravelle and Legendary, Legendary, yeah, by Stephanie Garber. I keep seeing Caravelle TikToks. I don't know why I'm on Caravelle TikTok. I don't, haven't even read the book, but I'm gonna read it. So I have that, Legacy of Trill by Heather Brewer. I love me some Heather Brewer. Three Dark Crowns. Um, I don't know if I'm that intrigued by that one, but it's a young adult fantasy that, I don't know, I think it might be good. A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. You can't even see the covers, I'm sorry. Um, the Bridge Kingdom and The Traitor Queen. These are two adult fantasy books that I can't wait to get to. Um, Where Dreams Descend. Excuse me, stars. Jade City. Fun fact, I am that much into Jade City, but I'm going to have to reread because I've forgotten everything that's happened and I um have to start all over so it's on my tbr shelf as if i've never started it the hundred thousand kingdoms that's the first book in the inheritance trilogy i'm really excited to try that out it's an adult fantasy as well ash princess the bear and the nightingale and scavenge the stars and finally down here we have the poppy war and the dragon republic which are fantasies that so many people love and i can't wait to try them out because i think i'll love them as well kings of the wild this one seems like a crazy book um i don't know if they're vikings or what but they just look like such murderous people and i can't wait to get to that it's an adult fantasy um yeah if you can't tell like it, it it is dune by frank herbert the toll by neil shulsterman i've actually never read the toll even though i've read um thunderhead and scythe but i I got cut off. I don't know what I said last, but I do want to finish The Toll because I've read the other two books and I want to finish off the series, but Thunderhead kind of let me down, so we'll see when I get to this one. I have The Raven Boys and The Dream Thieves. These are the first two books in The Raven Cycle. I do want to get to The Raven Cycle. I feel like it's like a classic YA on booktube. Um, then I have some more Maggie Stevator, Call Down the Hawk. I don't even know what this book is about. I just bought it because I wanted to read these at the time and now I haven't read any of them, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, Love Boat Taipei. Why did I say boat like that? Okay, Love Boat Taipei. 
Jackpot by Nick Stone. I love Nick Stone so much. Just, I just want to put that out there. I don't know. I like her writing. And Slay. So, yeah, there's all the books on my TBR card. Okay, so that's all the books that I have on my physical TBR. Um, there's quite a lot of adult fantasy because that's pretty much mostly what I read. Some romance, some contemporary, you know, a little bit of everything. But that's all the books I own that I haven't read. I hope this was somewhat enjoyable for you guys, but that's pretty much all I have to say. So um, comment down below a yellow heart if you stay till the end and are seeing this part of the video. I like to see who watches all the way to the end of my video. So if you want to check out any of my social media, it will be linked down below. My Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok, all that stuff. I also have some ways you can help support the channel. My Kofi, my Amazon wishlist if you want to send me a book, all down below in the description. But like I said, that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!